Hello and how are you? My name is Mohindo Mbarak and in this video I'm going to showcase you the demo that I've created for the What's in Uganda website. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So I'll open here a new tab and I'll visit the website uh, whatsinuganda.com and then I press enter to open the site and it will load what's in uganda and then it will open like that did you see that let me refresh again and you see so it will load and then it will open with uh, that kind of design so in the very first place before i proceed you should know that this is a demo this is a demonstration or oh, it just shows the dummy content that i've created and it's not a final website or it does not have the exact content that is supposed to have this is just a demonstration that we'll use to replace these ideas with related content so we can see how something is presented in any part of this page then we relate to our original content that we want to feed in and then we see how we can replace it with original content so this is just a picture or a frame or a dummy of what we're going to make so that's it so it's not a final website or it's uh, not a website with a what with a final content this is just a suggestion a, a a what how should i call it a proposal of how this website should look like so let's see how it's gonna be uh, so in the very first place i'll first browse through the website and then after we'll explain every part so this is the website when you open it it will come like this it is faster see it will open like that so before i start explaining every part let me scroll down up to the end and we see how things look like so you can see how things will be and then after i'll go back on top and i'll explain every part of the website so that's the website in brief so let's begin by looking at the whole thing so i'll go to the website i'll visit the website what's in uganda.com so to load with that log and then uh, it will show that uh, animation to display so here on this side we'll put here a link let's talk about your project or we'll put here an action call action it will call for action or a word that talks to the final client who has decided to take our services so we can put here that phrase then we'll put here our email we'll put here our email or we can put any contact and then you can put our social media what our social media icons uh, then here we'll have our logo At, as for now it's just a simple word of what's in uganda and then uh, here we have what we have the navigation that will help us to navigate through the website okay for example i've say i've div i've divided this um, main page or the home page into these sections we have a section of welcome we have a section of um, of works we have a section of services that we provide we have a section of our team and have a section of news or the articles that will be publishing the publication and then you have a section of what of contacting us and then you have these extra things that uh, i'll explain later the extra pages that i'll explain later so these are the sections and uh, you can use this navigation to jump to any section that you want for example i want to jump to works i can click here you see it will take me directly to our works i want to jump to our team to take me directly to our team so i'll come back to home and uh, explain the home so here at the home page or the main main section we are having the um, slider so this slider it can be uh there can be three sliders or four or five but not too many not more than six because they may confuse our client who has visited our website so here we'll have a top things that we want to show uh, at landing on when they or when they uh, website visitor this the website what do you want to show him on the landing page so it's what we'll put here in the slider and uh, we'll have a title a description and then a what an action uh, button or a link that will take uh, the user when he decides to take an action so this link will be here so that's a, a simple glimpse of a what of a slide so you see here I put for example top 10 hotels in Uganda and if someone wants to see them, I click here on hook, hook me up, then you will share them the list. We have this of what's in Uganda, a magazine for this. So if you click here, then you can take him to maybe to a contact or to our 
about us page so this is just a proposal you know so that's what uh, will make a slide and uh, you can propose which slides should put with their respective with their respective images uh -huh. so here uh, i forgot to tell you about this button so this button will be the final button that uh, a call to action that will be calling the you the, the the what the client to make a final decision so it can be a contact us page it can be a, a phone number like it can or it can it can always it, it can as well link to a certain website it can link to to a certain form but uh, this will be like the main action button you see since it is static there and it will always be seen by the user so i'll scroll down so that's the main welcome part then i scroll down so when you scroll down and then this menu change to white and then we'll have a short description of what of the company for example i just put a magazine that focuses on all business business sectors and tourism in uganda so this one can be just a short description of a business of the company and then you have some more explanation here so this one will just be a welcome part on top after welcome then we have here our works part so we'll have a little introduction about our company then we start showcasing our work or what we do so i've you can we can divide our work in two different sections for example here we have the tourism section the investment section the business section but it can be as many as you want then in this section we'll have to present what we've done or what we do or what we do remember this is our work we have also our services but this is just for work so here we have a uh, different things that we do and this will be a uh, in form of gallery like there will be pictures and page these pictures can have descriptions for example you see you have energy i created these two i created these two but these others are where well, they're just dummy they're random they don't relate i will have here energy in this in the when you click on all then it will show you energy if you click on tourism then it will filter and only show sections of tourism if you click on investment also sections of investments so you can decide which ones do you want remember this is just a proposal of a website how it should look like have your business then you have a section of businesses let's I click on let's see all and then let me show you energy for example I want to explain about different energies in Uganda so I click here and then it will load within the same page it will show a short glimpse of what of energy and then he'll have a button to close let me close and you see how it happens so you see here energy I click on energy you see it is loading and then it will show uh, what I wrote about energy so here I put the author which is me uh, or it can be anything else that you want us to put here and then you see I wrote about energy sector in Uganda or energy in Uganda so I wrote these paragraphs you see this paragraph with that beautiful font and then uh, we have here some statistics and these statistics can be removed or can be left there so here we can put something that we want to showcase or we want to present yeah, you understand you can put something that you want to present and then here we have uh, the, the the link you can put here anything that you want to explain and then you can put here the, the final action button or a link you see for example i can talk about tourism and if someone wa i want to direct this person to details or to any action or to contact us page or to anything i'll put here the what the link that uh, can redirect to that main page of that section you see uh, so here on the left hand side i put the what uh, photos i put photos that are relating to this work so you see if i click on this photo it will show a full page of this photo whereby a user can zoom and you see what we are talking about uh, i can even put in full screen you can remove full screen you can make uh, i can make um, them to slide automatically you see that's a gallery kind of i put a gallery so that uh, you can zoom it can do anything it can with the photo if you want me also to allow them to download i can as well put that the download button where they can download so you see i was talking about energy in uganda so i click there and then it close you see energy but remember we are still under what under our works here see we are still under works here so we are still so you can as well close remember it did not refresh the whole page you can as well close and then it will bring back you see you can open as well you can close within the same page okay so let me go back to our works so here I can put also you see you have ability to share the links 
let us go back to our works and we look at um, different other different works you can as well click here and then you'll see the same thing for example of, of what of agriculture i put a video you can as well put a video there you see i put a video so this can be the description and then this can be what a video we can show even some progress bars there we can showcase anything that we want to put about a a, a particular work we can present it there so you see if you click on this video it will show the full size video i can as well close it and this was a agricultural video in uganda that was created by nbs as well the user can go in full screen without uh, refreshing the whole page just within the same page so i put a video about agriculture well my name is joseph is business what section and see. we are in butambala so let me close that so that is a video so uh, i'm trying to show you that we have even possibility to embed a what a video within the session of works so with way without wasting much time i'll just skip and go to the next thing so you can come and play with these ones you can look at uh, investment you can search to what businesses and tourism so you can relate now according to the content that you want to feed in the website how can we utilize this section in anything it may not be works it might be something else that um, you want to feed here and we can feed it accordingly it can be a gallery it can be anything else that you want to fit using this section that i've shown you you can fit it there so you have to think and relate so we proceed uh to what to our services so you see after here we can click here if you click here to take you to our services so this is just dummy i put it so I la I list here top ten I mean our top services or our top our services then you can put here some explanation then you can put here a logo a service and explanation logo service and explanation we can as well add there a link if you want to so this is how we can explain our services okay an icon sorry an icon service name and explanation an icon service name and explanation so that is how we can present the services oh it can may not be even be service it might be something else that you want us to present in this section so you can relate you can think and relate so we have here now the action button like if you want to uh the user to send us an email you can click here and then it, it will open what the mail application either in our computer or in our mobile phone this part but it can be anything else still and then we have here uh the news remember it will you you'll be making articles you'll be writing different kind of articles oh, sorry before we go to news we have team so in this section of team i showed uh different members in a team so this can be you they can be anyone else it can be your team or it can they can as well be the companies that you work with uh, for example the companies that you work with we can put them here as well all those companies you can put them somewhere here you can put them here so you have to think and relate how you should feed this content if you see that the section is completely redundant and it's not useful you can as well suggest and we remove that section from what from this uh page so you see i put the team so you can put here your team when you hover over here you have the what a comment you have here the link i mean the the, the, the instagram and the mail to the member of the team so we can put here a short description about those teams so we can put here some few statistics for the company or about anything here in this section so that's a section of team now since you'll be needing to create website i mean to, to be updating the website so it means that you'll be creating articles that will be uh, keeping the website updated and uh, with news newsworthy or people to to information worthy to be coming and get the information from the website so i create this section of what of news so here news you can write latest articles you can you can write publications just anything that you wish so in this section of news we'll be putting only the top three news it can it can be five they can be six aha uh -huh. so here we have i created just some sample of news after showing this page you'll open a single one and we see how to look like so that's a section of news so this will be a list of a, few, a, a top list of latest articles that you've just created that you just posted in the website then we have this section of what of footer 
where we can put now the form. I've not put the form, but here this is a place where we can put the form for the user to do what? This is just a conclusion to contact us. Remember this footer, we can as well change it and add their important links, other links like about us, links for different services that we provide. We can also add it in this footer. But for this design, I just created this footer in a way that um, you can do what? We put here, we we'll put here what? Our phone number and our email so that the user should be able to take an action when they reach the footer, okay, without too much uh, distortion. So that's it. That's the landing page. I think it is good. And uh, you have to look at it like three times in order to relate to what you want to feed in there. So let us open this single article and you see how to look like. So I click on article. You see, that is how your articles will be looking like. But as well, I can as well modify them. Uh -huh, so you see. Uh, we have the title, we have a quote here, we have a uh, subtitle, we have links, and this is the comments that can come from other people, and you have a section where people can uh, provide their comments from here, and then they can post comments from here. So that's uh, how uh, a section of article, still we can modify it and make it more interactive than this. It is also possible. Uh, let me go to news and uh, i show you another article. So you can as well browse to other articles here. You see, these are other articles that you have. So the contactors, I'll put the page. I will I mean I'll put the form for the contactor contactors here. Okay. So also the about us. I'll also create that page. So that is the main landing page. Aha. Uh -huh. So now let me show you other things that you can do. Or the other sample pages that I created. You just simply come here on extra. And then you'll see other alternative for the home page. In case you didn't like this page, we can I have shown you another another page. I've created here another page. It's not having the exact demo content. So this is having another kind of pictures. So it will provide us pictures that will replace with these ones. So here is another alternative. Here under extra, then alternative, you'll find other alternative of the home page. If you don't like the other one, you can use this one as well become a quarter home page you can see the slides are a little bit different uh -huh. so that's another alternative so you can come and look at it so if you come here under extra you look at other possible pages. so these are possible pages that will be creating so since this website will be showcasing things for different companies portfolios of different companies different personnel different projects different articles so I've created around 10 pages that um, we will use as templates to to feed in the data that will be what that will be wanting to publish about assume that you want to write about to uh, the cement process the SMS industry in Uganda cement processing industry in Uganda we can choose one of these pages you see these are just templates different pages that but templates that we can use to to talk about anything so we can simply choose one of these then put here then we replace here an image that is related to a topic that we are talking about. And then we put here images. You see where they, they replace me. You can replace that with other with images with different topics and the title and the and explanation of that. So with different topics. And here we can put also a background with different background. In the background that you can see, we can replace these ones with other things. And this is a what? This is a... a, a uh, uh and uh, sorry how should i call it a a gallery so you can create a, a an article just a single article which is having multiple gallery so that your article should be really having enough information and well presented so that is a single page that or the single sample that you can use as a template to write about anything so another template that i've created for you can come here so these images are not attractive, but um, you can use them to put now your own images. We'll use them to do what? To put your own images. That's just a sample of how we can do it. Now look at this. You see? See, when I scroll, look at this image. Uh, sometimes the users scroll very fast that uh, in a way that they don't even see other important things. So I put here a way that uh, if you scroll, this image will kind of stop you to first look at it. Let me show you. you see, when I scroll, it, it's trying to push me up and then it comes back. That you should avoid that fast scrolling. You either not read the article or you read the article but while scrolling, while while previewing everything. 
so that's what the, this image will do and uh, this image it can be replaced this image can be replaced remember it is a wide image so we can replace it with anything else you see this is another uh, template or a layout that I created for other pages you see there are so many there are there are 10 so you can come and look at them at each of them and then relate according to the content that you want to feed in this website mm? according to the content that you want to feed in this website how can we use these pages or multiple of these pages to feed in them you see so these are just templates that I created uh, to be used later when you'll be writing different articles okay so come and play with these templates and relate so if you want to see the typography here's our typography is our typography like um uh, the text and uh, the font that we've used it is here or that will be in our website so in brief that is the website and uh, those are the templates and how those how things will look like uh i've not created a contact us page but can also be created the about us page it can also be created since you've seen the templates they are already there so our task is just to feed there now the what the right and information that is related to the what to the project so with that much said i'll stop from there unless there is a uh, a question you can uh, forward it and then we talk about it but um, that is a simple project that will do what that will be able to do uh using this um demo that i've uh, created for you for what's in uganda so look at it clearly again uh, like around three times as you relate uh on how the things will look like and then when you'll be relating you'll find that uh, it will be relevant to the work that you want to feed in unless there's a big question then you can put it forward and then we talk about it okay thank you for watching and listening uh see you in the next video uh, assalamu alaikum warahmatullah